Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose April 2, 2018, 12.33 a.m. Birmingham. Well, we got through April the 1st. A lot of people thought that uh, we wouldn't. And, of course, they thought that in a good way. Of course, it's always uh, hope and a prayer that we have that tomorrow will be the day that we'll be called home. While we're here, let's talk about what we need to be doing. We are in a very unique position today. We have a president who stands by Israel. We have a president that is doing all he can do to see to it that there are not 60 million more babies aborted. And when I say unique in standing by Israel, you know, every day in my prayer, I have an 8 p.m. prayer that's been going on now for over six years, uh, almost seven, and I've not missed a day with it. Times, I missed a time. Sometimes early, sometimes late, but I don't miss a day. But in that prayer, when I get to Israel, first United States, then I go to Israel, I always pray for the peace and safety of Jerusalem. God asks us to do this, and he also asks us to stand with his people. And in turn, God will stand with you. And, and there's more. Psalms 122.6, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Again, may they prosper who love thee. And so God tells you there, not only if you pray for the Jews, I will prosper you. So we're given these things. Now, there was the call on Deuteronomy. I should have written down the particular verse. I didn't, but I'll have it in the box below. And the Jews answered that call a long time ago. And this is before there was an America. But yet, we have been the most blessed nation on this planet by what we do with Israel. And a lot of people give different reasons and causes that were that way. No, it's not different reasons. It's all for one. First, it was God in our country. It was in God we trust. It was building this country on godly principles. And then we started to prosper in a major, major way when we started standing by Israel. When we misbehave and go against the Jews and try to divide them, then we are punished with a breakout of tornadoes or hurricanes or drought or fires, but this is things that we know not to do, but we do them anyway. And I want to tell you something that I'll never forget. When I left the police force, I'm not going to give you the town. I'm not going to give you the time. I'm going to just tell you there was a large Jewish community in the town where I was a policeman. Now, that's the town I went into business. My wife owned a business in that town. So when I left the force, I went into business, and I was only three doors down from her. She kept an eye on me all the time. Point is, it was a convenient or service station, and I had a lot of customers, and I'm going to say at least half my customers are Jewish. But there was a very unique thing about the Jews. There was probably about 5% of the Jewish customers 
And I trusted all of them. I mean, they all paid, always paid their bill. Sometimes they would come in and hurriedly say, look, I got to grab $10 worth of gas. I'll drop by and pay you next time I come in. Well, I'd just write their name down and I'd put it on board. Well, I won't call the names again because you'll know some of these names. They're well-known people. They would come in and they always searched the board. And any time a Jew would see another Jew with his name on the board where he purchased gas or anything else, and this is where I always put the tickets, and it's never, never to, to do anything but as a reminder for them and for me that when they come in, they always turn left and look at the board, take down their tickets, whatever they had, and come over and pay it and add it to what they purchased that day. But we also had a group that would come in, and and if they would look on the board and see any, it didn't matter who, if they were Jewish, they always picked up their tab. Have you ever heard that happen? between Caucasian white Americans, not me. Jews look after each other. We need to be more like them. They need to be more like us in a way that we believe in the whole Bible and that Christ, that Jesus is our Lord and our Savior. So there's something that they can learn from us, but then there's something that we can learn from them. Today, we are extremely blessed, and it's only going to get much, much better, guys. I just want to tell you, it's going to get much better. All you people who feel like or felt like in the past you would desire to go in some type of business, now is your time. Do it. If you're 60 and you have something that you wanted to do, now is the time. If you're 22 and you want to go into business, now is the time. When I went into business the first time, I had one service station. When I left, I had seven I sold them, sold one piece of property to Walgreen, and I sold another to a drug, another drugstore, smaller chain. Sold one to a UAB, this is a medical center, for a parking deck. I'm just telling you, now's the time to go into business. Right now, we are standing by Israel. And by doing that, we are being prospered. Remember Psalm 122.6. And this factors in directly to what I'm talking about right now. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And may they that love them prosper. And you will simply stand by them. Stand by Israel, stand by the Jews, and pray for their peace and safety. Guys, you today you have a very unique chance. We have a very unique position in life. We have a very strong president that stands with Israel. And as long as he's in power, he'll stand with Israel. And he's not going anywhere soon. When he goes, we all goes. In other words, I believe the rapture of the church will take us all out at the same time. And all those will be left behind that's been trying to tear him apart. Well, guess what? You're not going to destroy what God put into place. Period. You're not going to destroy what God put into place. And God put Trump in place. We just need to stop misbehaving and try to, to divide Israel. That's wrong. God says, if you do that, then I will divide you. Well, we need to learn from our mistakes, but we need to be more Jewish-like in that we look out for each other 
just as they look out for each other. We can learn something here, guys. Stand with the Jews and you will prosper. Jody Wolf Exposed.